That was kind of like my first red flag. I was like, is this company even legit? I cannot show you guys this. This is just too much. Where is the $80? I want to see it. Like, I want to see it with my eyes. If this is where my $80 is going, I want a refund. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we are going to be trying out Kylie Jenner's new brand called Kylie Swim. For those of you who don't know, about a month ago, Kylie Jenner has come out with a brand new brand called Kylie Swim. And obviously it's like swimsuits, bikinis, and that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree with me on this, but I kind of feel like it's a bit of a weird time to be coming out with a swimwear brand, especially when we're approaching winter. But I do suppose there's summer somewhere in the world so maybe it's not that big of a deal. Before filming this right now I purposefully haven't watched any other reviews of Kylie Swim because I didn't want my opinion to be like skewed. However on their Instagram I have been reading the comments and I mean there's a lot of people saying that the quality isn't great for the price. They're saying that the styles are just not suitable for a lot of different body types. So I guess we're gonna kind of dissect those as we look at the swimsuits and we're gonna see if any of those are actually true. Anyways if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before. Hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But if you guys want to see my honest review of the Kylie swimsuits, then without further ado, let's get on into the video. Yeah. Okay guys, so first things first, here is how the package came. It just came in a little yellow box. Now these swimsuits, I actually ordered as soon as the launch happened, so like a month ago, and it probably took about three weeks to come. I didn't have to pay any customs, weirdly enough, because I live in the UK, so I totally expected to pay customs. However, there was none. And one thing I do have to say, when I ordered this, I never got a confirmation like email anywhere. I checked all my emails, I checked everything, I never got anything. So I literally had no tracking number. But I had to check my bank statements to make sure that the payment was actually taken out of my account. But yeah, I just thought that was a bit weird that there was like no confirmation email or anything like that, which usually with online stores you would get. That was kind of like my first red flag. I was like, is this company even legit? So because I don't have a confirmation email, I actually can't remember how much I paid for all of this. I'm pretty sure it was roughly 250 pounds. So probably around $300 or something like that. So for that price, I got three different swimsuits and I feel like... That is very expensive for three swimsuits that I'm probably not even gonna wear out. Anyways, enough chit chat. Let's just crack it open and have a look inside. So this is what the box looks like on the inside. I actually really love the color scheme. Like if I ever made a swimsuit brand, this is totally what I would do. I really like the logo, although I have heard that they kind of copied someone's original artwork, which does not sit right with me. But either way, it's cute vibes. It's kind of like retro, kind of funky. I like like it. Oh, so in here we have the kind of receipt. So it says in total I spent $316 and that is including tax and shipping. So the swimsuits alone were $245, which is a lot. Like that's a lot of money. So in here we have three of the swimsuits. I actually ended up getting the most like popular ones that I saw on the website. The first one I got is this orange one. And can I just say the bags are really cute as well. They've just got the Kylie logo on it. So here is the first swimsuit. This is the orange one called Kylie. The reason why I got this one is because in my opinion, it's like the best one that's kind of modest, but still very much Kylie. It's actually the one that she was wearing in the promo photo shoots. So I just thought, you know, it just makes sense. Just for size reference, I'm pretty sure I went for a size small in every single swimsuit. So I will see how that translates. Okay, so here's the first swimsuit. This is what it looks like. So we've got the little bra cups and by little I am, Definitely meaning little because <laughs> They are quite small. They are quite diddy. The bra is then connected to the bottoms and this is what the bottoms look like. I didn't even realize this but there are all a thong, which I mean, when it comes to swimsuits, I usually like go on like family holidays and I don't really want my butt on show for everyone to see. So I kind of go for like a more modest option usually. So that is probably why I wouldn't go for a thong, but that's just my opinion. You do you. If you like a thong, then you would love this. So on the back, it's kind of got like this little lace up corset section. I'm hoping the placement of this cut out was well thought out. I really hope. Anyway, in terms of the quality, the fabric feels actually really nice. It's very, very thin, I won't lie, 
but it doesn't feel like cheap. It's kind of hard to explain, but it is a really nice fabric for a swimsuit. Okay, so from what I can see, we've got some kind of boning underneath the bra to give you support. And then I also really like the fact that this kind of belly section also has pieces of boning to kind of give it a bit more structure. I am really pleased that the straps are adjustable. It's always good to have those. And then the clasp is pretty simple, but it doesn't feel very secure. I feel like it could just come undone if you go swimming in this. I mean, look at this clasp. It can just come undone or come loose so easy because it's only got like one little hook there. One thing I'm really gutted about is the fact that the swimsuit has like no padding at all on the inside. If you're one of those people that doesn't like to have like like nipples showing through fabric, I feel like this will not be for you because the fabric is so thin. Like fair enough, there's a seam in the way which might kind of conceal it, but I feel like you'll see everything. This swimsuit is $85, which is definitely kind of expensive. It's definitely more on the high end side of swimsuits. So I guess let's try the Kylie swimsuit on and see how it fits. Okay guys, so here is the first swimsuit. This is like the swimsuit, you know? This is the one that Kylie wore in all the photos pretty much. And I actually really, really like the design. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's perfect. I do wish that it was slightly more full coverage here because it is very, very cut out around this region. But in terms of the chest and the cutouts on the sides, I actually really like it. The cups could have done with being just a little bit bigger and I did get size small, which usually fits me in bikinis and swimsuits. However, the cups are just a little bit like short. Does that make sense? I just wish there was a little bit more here. Now perhaps I could have sized up with the sizing, but for the size S, there's one thing I will mention and that is the fact that when I put it on, it kind of feels like it's a little bit short on me. I personally would say that I actually have quite a short torso, so I didn't think this would be an issue for me. But for the bra to kind of sit right and sit in the right place, I feel like I'm literally giving myself a wedgie with the bottoms. I won't turn around to show you guys what it looks like on the back because I will probably get demonetized. It is very cut out. like. There is no fabric on the back. But from the front, I actually really, really like the design. I think it looks very flattering on and it kind of like gives you that illusion of an hourglass figure. If you're a person with a slightly larger chest than me, you probably will struggle with the sizing because although it fits me everywhere else, I feel like the bra is just a little bit too small. And that's coming from someone who doesn't have like the biggest boobs in the world either. Overall though, I do feel quite supported with the bra. I like the fact that it's got the boning and the wiring underneath. Like I said, I do wish that there was some kind of padding on the inside of the bra, but I did just put some sticky like nipple covers underneath and I feel like that works pretty well too. But that's only really gonna work if you're not going swimming, if that makes sense. As for everything else, I don't really have any complaints. Like the quality of the fabric feels quite nice. It doesn't seem too see-through either. So we'll see with the other ones, but this one, I wouldn't say it's see-through at all. So yeah, this first swimsuit, I would say probably will be the most modest out of all of them. Even though I like it, it's probably still not a swimsuit that I would choose to wear to like a pool or the beach. But I do like the design. So I think out of 10, I'm gonna give it probably like a seven or eight. I'm kind of on the fence. Let me know what you guys think. Moving on to the next swimsuit, we have this one right here, which is a super colorful one. It's kind of like an ombre effect. Now this swimsuit is called Kcos and it was $80. Okay, let's have a look here. What is this? This is so confusing. I don't know like what is going on here. Oh, is this the bottom? Okay, that's the bottom. I'm loving the colors. Like look how beautiful that fabric is. Wait, how does this go? Okay, wait, are these the... I've forgotten, hang on. Okay, wait, I think this is the top. Yeah, that's the top. So it's kind of like a plungy effect. And then that's the bottom. So it goes like that. This one is definitely not for the modest people. This is probably gonna be very exposing in all sorts of places. I'm not gonna lie. This is a little bit intimidating. I feel like it's gonna be so revealing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show it on camera, but we'll see once I try it on. This is the kind of bikini where I just don't think is useful to anyone on a practical level you're not gonna tan in this. You're not gonna like sunbathe. You're not gonna go swimming in this because as you swim, your body parts will be literally falling out. So like, who is this targeted at? That's what I wanna know. I feel like this is more tailored towards like Instagrammers who live in hot countries and all they do is take bikini photos. I guess there's use for that, but anything else for like a regular person like me, I, 
I just don't know where I would wear something like this. I did notice that there were some people kind of complaining about the stitching and stuff, and I haven't really seen any stitching errors so far. However, there are a few like, loose threads. Can you guys see that there? I mean, it's not the end of the world, but like when you're paying $80 for a swimsuit, you want it to be really, really good. Also, I didn't realize this, but on the inside of the bottoms, you get the Kylie Jenner logo as well. I guess let's just try this on. I feel like it's going to be a bit of a task to get on, so wish me luck. Okay, moving on to this next one. I am very strategically covering up my chest because I feel like I cannot show you guys this. This is just too much. This swimsuit is not PG. I honestly just don't know who this is designed for. When I bought this, I kind of imagined it to be a little bit more covering. I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought that these bits of fabric would at least like cover one half of my boob at least, but it literally just goes across the middle in like a thin strip and there's nothing you can do to like make it any more covering. I feel very exposed on my front. I feel very exposed on my side and let's just not even talk about the bottoms. These are literally the world's smallest bikini bottoms I've ever seen. Like it's barely covering anything. The only thing I kind of like is the midsection of the bikini. I really like the crisscross effect, but it would mean it's some really awkward tan lines. I feel like if I can't even show you the front, there is no way in hell I'm gonna show you guys the back. So this whole bikini is honestly like a write-off for me. I think out of 10, I'm gonna have to give the swimsuit like a one. Like I don't know if it deserves even a one to be honest because it's just not wearable. And now the very last swimsuit I have is this bright yellow one right here. I've actually forgotten which one it is that I ordered but I'm pretty sure this is the one called August. So let's crack it open. I'm kind of nervous for this one. I feel like it's gonna be a lot. Oh my goodness. What is this? No way is this gonna cover anything. I'm scared. Hang on a minute. I feel like we're getting conned out here. This is $80. Where? Where is the $80? I want to see it. Like, I want to see it with my eyes. There's no fabric here. Like, this is it. This is literally it. Does this bit of metal cost $80? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I'm on the last swimsuit, but this is the first time I noticed the tags. So I thought I should talk about them. The tags are kind of cute. They just have the Kylie logo on it, but you know, you're gonna take this off so it doesn't matter. If this is where my $80 is going, I want a refund. Anyways, this is what the swimsuit looks like. I, I'm getting very confused. I feel like it's one of those pieces that until you put it on, you're just gonna be like, what the hell? This is what it looks like, right? So you kind of have like, barely anything covering your chest, so that's a start. So that's kind of how that goes. We then have cutouts on the side, sort of similar to the first one, and then that's the bottoms. It's actually slightly more modest on the front as well as the back because the thong is a bit thicker this time. There's not really much else I can say about this. It's the same fabric, it's really, really thin. I'm hoping it's not gonna be see-through, which I did see a few comments on her Instagram saying that as well. So I guess let's just try this bad boy on and see how it fits. Okay, so this is the last one, and as you guys can see, I'm covering my chest again. I just don't feel comfortable showing this amount of everything on YouTube. This part here, the actual cups of this swimsuit are just way too small. Like, either I'm just exposing everything here or I'm exposing everything on the bottom or even on the side. Like there's just no middle balance, if that makes sense. They could have made this part of the swimsuit way bigger and it just would have fit so many more different body types as well. I don't feel secure in this. I'm having to wear my nipple covers underneath and this swimsuit is so see-through. I don't know what it is because the fabric feels exactly the same as the other ones, but this one for some reason is really, really see-through. If I show you guys a little bit of like the cup, can you guys see? You can literally see like the outline of my nipple cover. This just is not it. Like, I don't know why she made all these swimsuits so tiny. Like, who is this supposed to serve? One thing I do like about it is, again, that crisscross effect. I just wish that this part here was a little bit bigger, a bit more covering. And then I do really like this cutout on the side. I think that looks really, really nice, very flattering. Obviously, these straps you could wear a little bit lower like this, or you could have them a bit higher like that. Also, the bottoms, they have a little bit more fabric, like the, the actual crotch area is wider on this one as opposed to the previous one. I feel like those tiny few 
centimeters of fabric really makes such a big difference in making you feel more secure and more covered. So Kylie Swim, if you're watching this video, I don't mean to be really negative, but at the same time, like you should really listen to these reviews because obviously it will make the company better in the long run. Basically, all I'm asking for is just a bit more coverage. Like this is just a bit too much. Like I love the style. I love the idea behind it. But I feel like at the end of the day, not everyone wants to show off their bits to the world whilst wearing a swimsuit. So, you know, just take that into account. Overall, I actually preferred this one rather than the previous one. I just feel like the style is a little bit more flattering. It's got a bit more coverage on the bottom. I feel like this had a lot of potential with the design, but I feel like because of how revealing it is for me I'm gonna give it a four okay so now having tried all three of those on I honestly don't know what to say I feel really bad but like you can see with your eyes you can see like I don't even have to say anything it's just not the best like in terms of the styles like they're very interesting I really really liked them on the models do I think they're gonna fit a lot of different people Probably not. I feel like her audience is very, very targeted towards one certain type of person. And that person, like I said throughout the video, is being like an Instagram blogger that's like always in their bikinis, things like that. For someone like me, when I go on holiday or I go to the swimming pool and I'm wearing a swimsuit, I'm like wearing it so that you know, I'm protected, like no one can see anything. I don't just lounge around in swimsuits, like even on holiday, like I'm going in the pool, like I'm doing stuff and being active. So these are probably not the ones for me. And yeah, I mean, that's fine because I'm probably not the target audience. The one that is probably most up my street is the first one I tried. I just felt like it was the most modest, apart from the back. I felt pretty covered like on my chest and everything, so that was good. Would I say Kylie Swim is worth the money? I would say probably not. I don't know why she is slapping such a hefty tag on it, especially when the fabrics are see-through. They don't really cover you up and there's so little of it. Would I purchase from Kylie again? Probably not. I just feel like I can definitely find some way better swimsuits on the market that don't break my bank. Would I recommend purchasing from Kylie Swim? I mean, if you want to support Kylie Jenner, go for it. If you like these swimsuits, go for it. But if you're more like me and you're looking for more modest options, I would say 100% no. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I hope the review was beneficial to any of you guys that were wondering about it and wanted to purchase. As always, I just wanted to be really brutally honest because I don't want you guys to wait your money. But that is all from me. I hope you guys are all well and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!